Hello everyone, this is Whitehawk and welcome back to WazHack. The votes are in. Rogue won by four votes, while uh, second place was Druidess with two votes, and uh, Knight, Bard, and Sorcerer all had each uh, one vote. All the other classes, no votes. Uh, I admit that uh, making a vote based on a whole bunch of characters, uh, roughly 16 of them, wasn't exactly the brightest idea, especially because this series is not going to be as popular as my other ones, but the uh, fact of the matter is, I really want to get you guys' opinion on what I should start with. And it is kind of fitting that we play this roguelike with a rogue. Hmm, I probably should have asked for what uh, uh, alignment that should have been, though. Alignments aren't as important in this game as they are in uh, NetHack, though. So I'll just put myself as neutral, I guess. And uh, if you want to, uh, you can actually edit your uh, starting uh, attributes. But I don't really care about that. Uh, surprisingly, we have lots of intelligence, but not very much charisma. Hmm. Well, let's enter. Running from the sheriff of a nearby town, you find yourself in the legendary dungeons of Wazhack. And uh, the rest is pretty much the same as uh, we had in the Barbarian. So anyway, uh, there was something that was... Oh, a symmetrical dagger. There was something I was mentioning in the last uh, video, the first one. Something about how I already uh, beat this game uh, before, but sort of, kind of. What it was that uh, when I beat the game... Uh, Back then, I sort of didn't win it. What happened is that uh, you get at the end and you fight a big monster that I'm not going to spoil what it is specifically. And what happened is that uh, I killed the monster in one hit using a strategy that was uh, pretty hilarious at the time. However, you're supposed to get something from that monster when you beat it. And by killing it in one hit the way I did it, <laughs> I completely destroyed that item that I needed. The Amulet of uh, Yaw or yeah, the yeah, Amulet of Yaw. No, the Yamlet of Zaw. And by destroying the Yamlet, I made the game unwinnable. So basically, if you don't manage to go all the way to the bottom of the dungeon, I didn't get the item I was supposed to get and go back up. So I only sort of kind of beat the game. I could have beaten it if I had not used that stupid broken strategy to beat that monster in one hit, but too bad. Anyway, we have a monkey for a pet. That's kind of unique. Uh, NetHack was kind of limited with the pets. It was strictly limited to uh, cats, dogs, and I think horses maybe? Yeah, if you were playing the night, you'd have a horse. Also, a trap. We didn't see that in the first video. Traps, uh, oh, in this case, it's an invisibility trap. So, if we move forward, yeah, the jack wall was right there. But if we enter the trap ourselves, we also turn invisible. So, it's actually kind of useful. And let's pick up the jack wall meat. And eat it right now, actually. And now we are full. Pair of mittens. Mittens, I they could be cursed. They could be bad. I really don't know, but I would imagine they're like hand warmers, which would increase fire resistance, maybe? Anyway, we got a red gem. Also, uh, Doomday mentioned that uh, to pick up items uh, that are straight on the ground without uh, needing to touch them with the, the mouse is, uh, or click them with the mouse, rather, is to just press G. Although, I think it picks up everything that on the ground, that's the thing. Oh no, it uh, uh, prompts the menu, okay. It's fine then. Where's my monkey? Also a bunch of fountains. Well, wow, I have lots of potions. I guess uh, this is a bu bunch of stuff I started with. Hmm, potions of blindness. I guess if you want to try a, a blind playthrough, you really ought to start with the rogue. Anyway, let's start one of the gre dark green potions. Potion of healing. Murky potion. And next, a potion of extra healing, yes. Ruby potion is potion of fireproofing. That is kind of situational because uh, we can get fire, rest and fire resistance very easily in this game otherwise. And that's the potion of hallucination, as per usual. Uh, piece of jack. Oh yeah, that's kind of annoying. Uh, if you try to pick up items nearby, you can pretty much tell what uh, you actually fought. Uh, I guess I will pick up the piece of jackal meat, but it, it'll get rotten very quickly. That's the issue. Hallucination is not nearly as much as a trouble in this game as it is in uh, NetHack. Because in NetHack, uh, everything, including your pet, gets like uh, completely strangelized. <laughs> and uh, it's difficult to tell what uh, is a, pa a neutral enemy and what is not. And what is a tough enemy and what is not. Because in NetHack, they can throw really tough enemies at you really early. Also a book, which we can identify really easily for some reason. 
yeah, I imagine there, there are some things that the, the hallucination, uh, which I'm gonna call it, uh, doesn't work on. Pair of black silk gloves. Hmm. I really ought to maybe try one of those gloves at some time. My monkey didn't tell me if any of this stuff is uh, cursed, so it's uh, probably all safe. Or maybe the monkey doesn't actually tell me what is actually cursed or not. That would be kind of a trouble. Sky blue. Um. Can I kill it? Okay, finally. That that was probably a tough monster, like a large kobold, maybe. Maybe not. It, it didn't seem to have a weapon. No, actually, it did have a weapon. Hmm. Well, we'll know maybe if I identify its stuff. Also, uh, as I said before, talents dif differ depending on uh, what characters you're using. In this case, uh, the rogue can have dual wielding, weapon knowledge, weapon precision, commerce. That's oh man, commerce. I think got buffed. I think it was like only 10% in uh, the original or 1.1 rather. Maybe, maybe not. Silence, you are 20% more stealthy. Trapping, all traps are revealed to you. And larceny, you can steal from creatures who have not noticed you with 25% chance of success. Wow, that's kind of lame. <laughs> I think I'll go stealthy. Maybe? Jeez. Uh, no, you know what? I'll go with trappings first. Because I don't like traps. Especially not the ones that teleport you around. Oh, the... Okay, hard, that was probably a licking. Yeah, that's apparently how you say it, licking. And it's a donut, orange donut thing. Oh goodness, that thing hurts. Please, monkey, kill it for us. Nope, apparently not. This might be it, actually. I'm stuck between this thing and... Uh... Actually, you know what? I'm going to uh, use my pulsating wand. Let's see what it does. And it's blessed, thankfully. It is lightning. I just killed my own pet. I killed my own pet. And because it was a sneak attack, it did double damage. Yeah, I have a sad feeling. At least I killed uh, whatever this is. I don't really like playing with pets anyway. <laughs> so this all suits me just fine. But considering uh, how f uh, fast, uh, how stealthy I was, despite the fact that I was standing right next to these creatures, that's kind of broken, to be honest. And yeah, hallucination really lasts a long time. I wish it uh, had stopped uh, being uh, on by now. Look, it's another monster, bunch of monsters we're going to use our Wand of Lightning on. Gain the level! Uh, we had trapping, uh, larceny... Uh, yeah, now I want silence. I want to be uh, stealthy. Kill this. It was probably a goblin. Acid blob, really? Mm, come to think of it, maybe eating an apple cures hallucination? No, it's not the apple. And it's not, uh, not fresh uh, acid blob either. And I should probably stop eating by now. Actually, I'm not full, so I guess I will eat a piece of jackal meat. Now I'm full. Lots of fountains around. Like, uh, this is the fourth one so far. I don't think... Fountains are... Uh, in NetHack, uh, if you quaff them, there is an actual random, very small chance, but random chance that you can get an enemy that will grant a wish to you. And because of that, a lot of people quaff uh, fountains in the early game. But uh, sometimes uh, quaff... More likely, rather... Quaffing for a fountain will spawn a bunch of snakes, which will almost certainly kill you. A small wooden shield and a potion of extra healing. Of course we want all that stuff. Green jam. Clear jam. A circular amulet. Yep, this is all good stuff. The amulets most of the time, well not most of the time, but it is quite likely that one amulet can be an amulet of strangulation. And it is also likely that it will be cursed. And if you put on an, a Cursed Amulet of Strangulation, you just got a Death Wish. Because you are dead, unless you can find a way to uncurse that amulet right away or get it off right away. Okay, now we can read our stuff. Let's read, uh, read uh, the Zilgo Mayor scrolls first. Remove Curse. A Cursed Scroll of Remove Curse. And it, when it's a Cursed Scroll of Remove Curse, it just like uncurses itself and just dissipates into nothing. Uh, okay, Bite Me Scrolls. Yes, I figured it would be identification. Uh, let's identify the black silk gloves. Blessed P 
pair of minus one black silk gloves, really? Okay, what about this uh, pair of middens? Gauntlets of power! Oh, those are good. Very good. Pro possibly quite the, be the best kind of uh, go gloves you can get. So, let's put them on right now. The black silk gloves, I think, are kind of useless. I feel strong! Oh, yeah. <laughs> they look kind of silly on my character, though. Uh, let's identify the circular amulet. Cursed... Oh, cursed amulet of reflection. So, yeah, sometimes uh, uh, equipment can be cursed, but that doesn't mean it's in the, like uh, not a positive to wear it. It just means you won't be able to remove it when you wear it. Although, I do have a scroll of remove curse, so I could be fine. That being said, I'll, I'll, uh, it's probably better that I keep the scroll of remove curse with me right now. Because I might like uh, equip something that I don't want to have on. Instead of this uh, cursed uh, amulet of reflection. Okay, let's read the other scroll right here. By your Wookie. It is a scroll of teleportation. Those, uh, if you have teleport control, this can be extremely useful. But uh, some of the times it's not. Also, it was a baby. Aw, oh, man. I feel super guilty now. Okay, back here. Is there any more stuff I need to identify my uh, equipment? Uh, what's the asymmetrical dagger supposed to be anyway? Kind of weird. Let's check our entire inventory. Yeah, there's the gems. I can drop some of them and so some of them might identify themselves if I drop them. There's also the books. And since I have such high intelligence, I'm almost certain that I can uh, learn all these spells. As you can see, Because I have 18 intelligence, I can learn any spell I want. That's... That's kind of a broken thing with the uh, rogues, I think, actually, because uh, they can be pretty cool uh, and adequate uh, spellcasters. With great difficulty, I learned Magic Missile. To cast spells, you... Um, yeah, just see. <laughs> Create monsters? I don't really want to do that. 42% uh, uh, chance to cast Magic Missile. Not a very good uh, rating. Uh, but that being said, uh, if I increase my life spell uh, level... Uh, I will have a better chance to cast it, I think. And in that case, it actually makes Create Monster kind of useful. Perhaps for training, too. And another scroll. Let's read it. Scroll of Enchant Armor. Oh, okay. In that case, uh, Scrolls of Enchant Armor, you'll probably want to use, like uh, farm them for later when you have your ultimate equipment. Because uh, my studded black studded leather suit is not uh, something I'll probably be wearing for endgame. I'll probably be wearing some other chainmail or something. Fix scroll. Cursed scroll of light. Oh man, it darkens the room. It's not it's not a bad effect, but uh it is a kind of annoying one. I mean it's kinda of, he's kinda of hard to see what's going up over here right now, isn't it? Another scroll of remove curse. Those can be useful. If I get if I get burned though. Uh, that I might, the, 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 the scrolls might like bur get burned in my inventory and I will lose uh, use of them. Also another amulet. I'm getting lots of good loot right, right now. Usually uh, what you get in the beginning is a bunch of daggers and uh, useless armor. Like this leather suit. What am I going to use that for? Oh, black potion. Probably uh, ink. Yeah, as per usual, uh, black potions are almost certainly always going to be ink. I am going to zap these two because uh, they're large kobolds. And double damage because it was a sneak attack. Gained a level! Um, you can craft traps from three daggers of the same type. That is... That would be kind of cool. Hmm. But I'm gonna go ahead and play my role as a rogue and increase my stealth. Yeah, that... Oh, it's a Kobold Lord. I thought it was a Kobold Caster. That would have been dangerous if that was the case. Hexagonal Ron. Let's see what it does. It's Magic Missile. That is a good spell. Even though I already know it, uh, it's uh, good to be able to cast it instantly like that. Bunch of monsters. Time to lightning them. Some creatures can only hurt you when you attack them. Probably uh, the Acid Blob. That's what it was. And as you can see, this is what happens when you try to attack an acid blob. Uh, stuff in your equip uh, inventory 
starts to rot. In my case, uh, both my dagger and my pair of black boots uh, completely got rotted. Not that badly, though. Whatever, I'm shocking the rest of it. Take that. They give lots of XP, that's the useful part about them. Another red gem. Okay, let's try to identify our red gems, if we can. X to drop, if I call? No, D? How do I drop? Not B, not to V, not Z. I'm getting confused uh, with the, about the controls with this net hack in the, this game, because uh, they're. This is to equip all my stuff. <laughs> Not but that's something I wanted to happen. I think I can put the small wooden shield too. And instead of wielding this uh, A plus one corroded dagger, I'm gonna wield the other one. Much better. And now we have a shield, shield too, which increases our uh, defense even more. But how do I drop again? What is the control? Eat. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go on the option menu. I should really do that more often. If you're looking for controls, just go in the option menu and check out the controls right here. Silence, rest, drop. X! I'm pretty sure I did use X, though. Okay, blue gem. It is a normal or a valuable gem. Clear gem. Nope. Not in there. A green gem. Nope, not in there too. And finally, the red gems. We have we got four of those. They're probably all worthless. And I didn't want to drop drop them all, but whatever. There we go. Hmm. It's already been 17 minutes, but uh, I have made quite a bit of decent progress. I'm gonna stop this video as soon as I get the. Uh, under 300 feet, which is, in, uh, I believe, when the demo would end if I was playing it. Oh, and there's a shopkeeper right here. That's a good thing to, uh, for me to show you guys. Uh, shopkeepers, you talk to them and you can sell or buy uh, stuff from them. Uh, you can also attack them directly to steal all their stuff, but I'm pretty sure they're decently powerful if you're, especially if you're early level. So don't try it unless you know what you're doing. Uh, we got 231 uh, gold, so we can buy those. Two scrolls of identification, uh, potion of healing. We could also no, we don't have enough to afford that twisted ring. Uh, yeah, this is a general store uh, seller, so he sells quite he sells quite a few decent things, but uh, mostly uh, scrolls, books, and rings, if I recall, and amulets too, and potions, and whatnot. But the good thing about these guys is that they'll buy anything you have, as you can see here, which is good because I have quite a few things to sell. Like all those potions of blindness. Why would I need those? Like, what's the point? I I, I guess I, I guess the potions of blindness is for throwing. That would make sense. Throwing at enemies, that is. Potion of sickness. Uh, that can be useful useful for poisoning. And potions of sleeping too. Yeah, I think that'll be it. I don't need that spell book of create monster either. Ah, I still don't have enough to afford a Twisted Ring, though. Well, I guess we'll stick uh, with what we have now. An axe. And that's it for here. Okay. I want to identify the other amulet. An uncursed amulet of ESP. I'd show what it does, and I will, actually, because I have a scroll, two scrolls of Remove Curse. Cursed scroll, a uh, uh, cursed amulet of reflection is uh, surrounded by a golden glow, and another cursed scroll of remove curse is surrounded by a golden glow. So I guess I read the good uh, remove curse scroll. Anyway, ESP. It allows you to sense stuff. Like if you can, you guys see the blue circle on the left of my screen. The that's that's what you use to identify stuff that is coming up. The red circle is probably an enemy. It's a dwarf. Dwarfs are tough. This could be it. I could die here. I better uh, change my equipment again, actually. ESP is not bad, but the reflection is better. It protects you from, like, uh, unwanted spells. And I, the dwarf got uh, the upper hand on me. Ow. You are getting zapped. Thank you. That uh, Thanks for that uh, potion of extra healing. I really need to use it. Okay, time to put that uh, dwarf to sleep. See how good that does? 
that that is to just like take an enemy and put them to sleep right there then I can get the upper hand on him and stab in the back and kill him quickly see this is strategy right there if I tried to fight him up in a straight fight without using that uh, push of extra healing I would have probably died in fact if I had used the push of sleep uh, right away I probably wouldn't have had to use the push of extra healing that would have uh, been good to still have it in my hand but uh, well what do you know I want to show that uh, this fight would have been tough if I tried to do it uh, like straight up um what should I take you know what? This will be the new poll. You guys vote on what uh, uh, talent I should upgrade. Just a word of warning, I cannot upgrade uh, Silence or Trappings because I need another level 1 talent. So vote between Nightmare Mode, Larceny, Fury, Commerce, Dual Wielding, Weapon Knowledge, and Precision. Yep. Yeah, uh, <laughs> for my sake though, please don't vote for Nightmare Mode. That just makes the game really tough. I'll probably die for sure. Anyway, what does this guy have? Oh, he's got quite a few decent things. I'm gonna take it all. Uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I've got too much stuff on me, so I'll probably have to drop some right now. Using X, of course. The chainmail suit is probably just super heavy thing, so... Let's get rid of our shoes. Equip iron shoes. And put that chainmail suit on. Yeah, the chainmail suit uh, gives me much more uh, defense. I'll keep the black uh, suit, uh, the suit of black studded leather because it's probably worth a few bits. But uh, otherwise, uh, I think this will be it. Yep, we're pretty loaded right now, and uh, you guys get to choose which talent talent I'm gonna upgrade next. But uh, who knows? I could die just as soon as I go down this ladder next video. Well, that'll be for next video, though. So uh, anyway. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a very nice day and please vote for which talent you guys want me to upgrade.